Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jane and today I'm doing my birthday unboxing and birthday book haul. Oh my god, I'm so, so excited. I have a lot of boxes to unbox today and there is a lot of books. Like from what I counted, there is supposed to be over 45 books, which is just a crazy amount. I went a little bit crazy this month because this is my birthday and I'm so excited to finally open everything. Now currently I'm filming it one day after my birthday because I was away for the weekend for a birthday vacation and I arrived home today a few hours before. I'm really really excited to finally film this video. Now like I said there is a lot of books today so I just think that let's get started and I want to start with those two boxes. Those are two books that Charlotte from Clumsy Charlotte gifted me which is amazing. Thank you so so much Charlotte and I just can't wait and I really really want to open it so let's start with those books. I think that let's start with this. I want to see the note first. Found it. Happy birthday Jane. I hope the package arrives on time and that you have a great day and that you enjoyed this book. Charlotte, thank you so, so much. Like, this is amazing. You really didn't need to send me this and I appreciate it so, so much. And now... <gasps> it's the Bromance Book Club! Like, you don't know how much time I want this book. This is basically the first book in a series. And this is a contemporary romance. And this romance is told for the POV of the guy. And the guys are opening the Romance Book Club so they can read romance books and be more romantic with their partners. And I'm really, really excited. I heard amazing views about the series. The cover is so, so pretty. And it's also really, really fluffy. So, oh my god, it's so amazing. I really, really can't wait to read it. I really hope to enjoy it. I think that this will be just amazing and that I will really, really love this series. I just feel it. I feel like maybe it could be five stars and I'm really, really hoping that I'm not wrong. But this is so, so amazing. And there is the second package. I'm really excited. This is Thanks by Sarah Anderson. And this is a graphic novel. It has the most cute illustrations. Oh my god. A love story between a vampire and a werewolf. This is just so pretty. I really love the aesthetic. And you have sprayed edges. The edges are black. And yes, this is basically a graphic novel about vampires. And I really, really love graphic novels. Graphic novels are the best thing ever. I could read graphic novels forever, like honestly. And I heard really, really good reviews about this book. And it's so pretty. Yes. Honestly, I can't stop looking at the book. It's so gorgeous. It's like a hardcover, a really small one, which I find that those are my favorite kind of hardcovers. Like, I really, really love those small hardcovers. Aesthetic is amazing. It's really soft also. It's really, really pretty. I'm going to put the note in the book. Charlotte, thank you so, so much. Those are really, really amazing. I really think that I'm going to love those two books. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, the next package is, first of all, a really big one. Like, there is only two books here, so I really don't get why they put them in such big packages. But this is a gift from my real life friend. She just gifted me two books for my Amazon wishlist. Thank you so much. I'm really, really excited. Oh my god, the first book is Ace of Spades by Farida Bike Yomade. And oh my god, when I always see this book in videos, it looks so amazing. And it's really, really beautiful in real life. Look at the inside. And this is basically a new release. This is a thriller about two teenagers or young adults in some kind of academy. In this academy, someone starts to send anonymous messages to everyone. I heard that this is really a page turner. Like, I keep hearing really, really good reviews about this book. And I'm I'm really, really excited to get to this one. I think it's going to be a thriller that I'm going to really love. And yes, it's just really, really gorgeous. Oh my god. And the second book is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Arnes. And this is another thriller. And now, first of all, I heard that if you love The Hunger Games, you would really, really love this book. But basically, the main character of the story gets a call that some kind of millionaire passed away and he wants to give her all of his money, although he doesn't know the main character. But this main character needs to go to this house and pass a few tests and like play in some sort of game to get this money. It sounds really good. I also think that the sequel is going to be released really soon. So I think it's about time for me to read this book. And yes, I'm just really, really excited about those books. Thank you so much for buying me this. I'm really, really, really excited to get those. And now I have here five packages from Book Depository. Just books that I bought myself for my birthday that I didn't unbox yet. And I'm really, really excited to unbox them. Let's just start with the first one. Oh my god. Whoa. 
So this is called Stylish McBride and this is a new release, a beauty and the beast retailing. Now the reason that I really really wanted to check this book out is because the blurb on the main cover is from Marissa May which is one of my favorite authors and she wrote a smart and hilarious twist on a tale as all the times. Honestly Marissa May sold me to this book. This is just a beauty and the beast retailing. I don't know too much about this book but I really love retailings. If this is something that usually I really enjoy from and the cover is really pretty so yes this is the first book and it's also a fantasy standalone which is amazing. Next package. Oh my god! The next book is XOXO by XEO which is one of my most anticipated releases of 2021 and this is basically a contemporary romance story between a teenager and a K-pop idol and basically the main character of the story doesn't know that the guy is a K-pop idol at the start and then she's finding out about it later. The K-pop idols can date and it sounds really really good. I really love stories about K-pop because I really love K-pop in Korea in general so I really love those kind of stories and the cover is really gorgeous in real life. I always saw this cover and it was really really pretty but in real life it just feels so much different and so much prettier. I'm really really excited about it. Hopefully I will read it in the beginning of August. It's so so pretty. And oh my god, wow, the hardcover is with this illustration. Wow, it's really, really pretty. Wow, I love it so much. I'm just so happy to unbox so many books. Yes! The next book is The Taking of Jake Livingstone by Ryan Doggles, which is a YA horror new release. First of all, the book is shorter than I thought. Oh wow, it's like a little bit over 200 pages. Amazing. So much shorter than I thought it would be. But this is basically about a boy who sees ghosts. And I bought it for the troll tropical readathon so hopefully I will read it in August. It sounds really really good and I actually really enjoy Wiley Hall. And yes this is like a small hardcover which I really really love and I think that the cover is really really pretty. Okay the next package is actually pretty open. Oh my god yes this is The Black Flamingo by Dean Atta which is actually a book that I already read. This is a book written in verse and I listened to the audiobook which was amazing and because I really love the book I also wanted to buy a copy so I can support the author. Also the cover is really pretty. It also holds that there is illustrations in the book. Wow, yes! It's pretty mixed media. It's really interesting. A lot of things in the story are letters and messages and in the physical copy it's actually like a letter and a message. It's really really cool. I'm sure that I'm going to read it. I usually don't read books but this book because it's really short and it's written in verse. I really want to read it in the physical copy. I just feel like it would make the experience so much more fun. So I just really wanted a physical copy. It's really really pretty. Oh my god, I'm so happy. And the last unboxing for today, but don't worry, there is a lot of books except the books that I'm unboxing. Wow! The next book is Battle Royale by Oshuno Kami. And this is basically a classic and I really love the concept of Battle Royale. With a lot of people, just one of them can get alive. And because I really love the concept and this is a book with amazing reviews, I thought it's about time for me to read it. Now, it's really long, like it's almost 600 pages, which is a lot. But I really think that I would love story like it feels to me like those kind of books that I would really enjoy from. It will probably take me time to get to this one because it's long but I really really hope to love it. And yes I just love this concept so it's time for me to get Battle Royale. Now the next books are books that my boyfriend bought me and I couldn't stop myself so I just unboxed them. Not in the video. The first one is Yolk by Mary H.K. Choi and first of all the cover is really really gorgeous. It's really pretty in real life. It's shiny. Also in the other side it's really pretty and you have in hand like the two characters are holding hands which is so so pretty and this story is basically following the main character whose her sister is getting sick and also the main character deals with a lot of eating disorders there is a lot about this book now i actually started to listen to it in audiobook and i listened to 20 percent and i stopped because i really really enjoyed the story it felt something that i would really love but something in the audiobook just didn't felt right like i feel that this writing style is more enjoyable on text i really wanted to get this physically and i really wanted to read it from the start because I really think that I'm going to love it in text. And the next book is The Luck of the Titanic by Stacey Lynn. This is a story about the Titanic. Like, I really love the Titanic. This is one of my favorite movies ever. And I really love the aesthetic of this book. Like, it feels vintage. And it talks about the Chinese passengers on the Titanic. I'm actually not sure if it's based on real passengers or this is like an imaginary story. This is another new release. I didn't heard a lot of reviews so far, but I really love the Titanic. It's gorgeous. I really, really hope to love it. The next 
next book is a graphic novel and this is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. And I wanted this graphic novel for so long. Now I actually didn't got it until today because I was waiting for the fall and we are already in the end of July. Fall is getting really really close so it's about time for me to get it. And the illustrations are so amazing, so beautiful and the colors are so vibrant and it's so pretty. I really really think that I'm going to love it. I really can't wait to read it. It's so so pretty. And then the next book is The Ravens by Cass Morgan and Danielle Page. Now this story sounds really really cool because basically this is a thriller. It talks about sorority on college but it's told through double POVs and one of the main characters is the new girl in the sorority but the second main character is a member in the sorority that already was in the sorority for three years so she basically knows all the dark secrets so we are going to see everything also from the eyes of the one who knows everything so I'm really really interested to know how it will play together and if it will be like too obvious and too unexpected I just really really hope to love it and also the cover is really, really gorgeous and yes I just really get more into thrillers and it's also pretty and the two last books that my boyfriend bought me is the second and the fourth book in the bromance book club undercover bromance and crazy stupid bromance another two really beautiful books like I really love the covers and all the aesthetics and everything together and now I have a set and I'm just really really excited to get to this series again I really think that I'm going to love it it just sounds like the perfect comments not for me I just really really can't wait to get to it and now we are getting to the not presents unboxing and we are getting to the actual book haul what is left which is still a lot this book is from Blood and Nash by Jennifer Armstrong we already unboxed it this is a Lumicrate exclusive edition which looks amazing such beautiful sprayed edges like it's also pretty I just wanted to mention it because this is a new book and I need to haul it for that I already made a video about the unboxing. It's really, really pretty. Now, the next books are graphic novels and mangas because, of course, I'm going to do graphic novels in a book haul. I just love graphic novels so, so much. And the first one is On a Sunbeam by Billy Walden. First of all, this graphic novel is huge, but I actually really love it because graphic novels are really, really quick to read. So, although it's really long, it will still not take me a lot of time to read. And I wanted this graphic novel for so long because basically this is some kind of sci fi story. And I know that there is two timelines in the story and also every timeline is in a different color and one of those timelines are something in a boarding school and then another timeline is in space it just sounds really really good and I heard amazing reviews about it I really really hope to love it and it just feels to me like such full tone story like I feel that there will be a lot here and I'm really excited to get to this one then I have The Magic Fish by Aunt Le Nguyen I'm actually not sure if this is a new release or not because I keep hearing about this graphic novel just this past couple of months but this is a coming of age story like I'm pretty sure that the main character of the story is homosexual so this is his story about being gay and I don't know a lot about this book but I know that this is just supposed to be like a coming of age graphic novel and really deals with the relationship with the family and how your family accepts you and the illustrations are really really beautiful like there is so many colors in the illustrations which is really beautiful I really really hope to love it and now we have one manga which is a whole manga and this is Ibitsu by Auto Rio. And basically this is a horror and there is some kind of legend about this girl, the Ibitsu, that she's asking people to play with her. I don't know, it sounds really, really creepy. I really, really love horror manga. Like I read some Junji Ito. I really love Junji Ito. Me see probably won't be as gore as Junji Ito, but I actually really want to read something more light in the horror genre. And yes, I'm just in the loop for horror mangas or horror graphic novels. Now in the horror theme, I have two more horror books. And the first one is the Southern Book Clubs Guide to Slain Vampires by Grady Hendrix. This book is following a few think middle-aged women and this is historical fiction I think. This is in a time where women couldn't just read whatever they want and the main characters of the story are opening a book club when they can read true crime books and they are basically keeping it a secret. They are making everyone think they are reading romances. It's really cool. There is a lot of more things like basically there is I guess vampires in the book. I'm not sure. I just heard that it's really weird. I really, really want to get to this one and I really hope to love it. And the next horror book is out by Natsu Kirunu and I don't know almost anything about this book. I just know that it's supposed to be really scary. It's by Japanese author and I hear that a lot of Japanese horror books are really really scary and I really want to read some kind of Japanese horror book that isn't a manga because until now I really enjoyed horror mangas and yes it's supposed to be really really scary and I'm ready for it. Now I have some fantasy series and the first one is the Broken Earth trilogy. I bought all the books. This is basically the fifth season and I really 
maybe anything that this is going to be five stars like I really hope that it's going to be five stars because basically this is an adult fantasy and it talks about the end of the world in the story the end of the world is coming this is like some sort of apocalypse and I really love those kind of books that are dealing with the questions of life and death those books about death and that death is really near and I really love the fifth wave trilogy and I know that this isn't the same thing but I think that maybe the vibes from the book and like the dramatic of the book will be similar and even much better those books are also really really fluffy it's really really fluffy I just really really can't wait to read it like this is definitely a five star prediction and yes I'm just really really excited and then the next series is A Court of Fawn and Roses by Sarah J Maas yes finally I'm reading this series and I actually already got to the first book and I didn't really love it and I know that a lot of people say that the first book isn't good as the rest of the series but I also think that I'm not going to love the second book so I don't know but yes I got to the four books and I would give a chance to the second book again I heard amazing reviews about it I just think that I will personally won't really love it but I want to give it a chance I actually prefer the hold covers so much more you just can't get them anywhere so I just gave up and bought the new covers and now we are getting to a few books in my native language I read Spellslinger in June I still didn't hold this book but I loved it so much so I bought the rest of the series oh my god so basically there is six books I think but only five of them were translated to my native language so I will read just the last one in English if it won't be translated until I get to this one and I'm actually only reading the second one there is sprayed edges of all of the books which is really really beautiful and yes I just really really love the series I read only the first book so far but I'm currently through the second one and it's really fast and quick really really fast paced a wild fantasy series about a new world with magic and magicians it's really really fun and especially really funny so yes hopefully I will enjoy the rest of the series as much as I enjoyed the first book and then I have Nevermore by Jessica Townsend and this is a middle grade book like what I never read middle grade it's just a genre that I never reach for but first of all the cover is so gorgeous it's so so beautiful and there is also this part of the book which is so pretty but this is basically following an 11 years old girl that is cursed and everyone knows that when she's going to be 11 she's going to die but then in 11 birthdays she's going to the secret town nevermore and this is just a middle grade book I really want to give a chance to middle grade books the cover is really gorgeous and I'm actually really excited to read it I'm not going to this with high expectations but I do hope to like it and the cover is really beautiful and yes it just looks so so pretty and I heard amazing amazing reviews about this series so yes I'm really really excited and then I have the second and the fourth book in the Bash Princess trilogy I have the fourth book also in my native language and there was just a discount so I got the second and the fourth book also I hope maybe to read it soon just a YA fantasy series I didn't read the first book yet but I know that it's following a main character that her mother was killed by the new leaders and the new leaders keep her in the castle and yes I heard really amazing reviews about the series hopefully I will get to it soon I also bought The Maidens by Alex Michalidis I bought it a month ago I just didn't hold it yet I will hopefully read it in the beginning of August because it's on my TBR a new release I didn't read Silent Patient yet just some kind of thriller the main character of the story goes to some kind of college it's modern mystery I think and there is amazing reviews about Alex Michalindis books but for until now there was pretty mixed reviews about the maidens but that's okay I really want to give it a chance and I really hope to love it and the last book is actually a non-fiction book that I got for free because I ordered some books in my native language and this is The Atlas of Happiness and this is basically a non-fiction book with a lot of mantras from different countries in the world just a lot of positive vibes which is amazing and I got it for free and I want to get more into genres that I usually don't read and I feel like this is a good non-fiction book that I can read a part of it and then keep it and then read a little bit more yes it's really pretty so I counted now all of the books and I have 47 books here in my book haul like I'm pretty sure this is the biggest book haul that I ever did I actually just had a book haul not a long time ago so yes I'm a little bit crazy but I'm so, so excited about all of those books it is so amazing like I can't wait to read everything I just keep looking at all of the books they're so amazing I'm so so excited thank you so so much for watching this video I'm feeling so happy this is the best birthday ever like oh my god so many amazing books I'm so so excited thank you so so much for watching this video my next video is going to be a recommendations video which is always really useful I really hope that you will love this one but until this video you can check more videos by me thank you so so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one bye everyone